Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boyce and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make a really cool wooden car. Wow. Let's get into it. I started this toy by pulling a few 2x4 cutoffs out of the burn pile. After drawing out a shape that I was happy with, I used my bandsaw to cut both of them out. Then I used the table saw to give the cutouts nice smooth flat sides so I could glue them together. Once the glue was dry, it was time for sanding. After some thought, I decided the car didn't look quite right, so I grabbed a piece of old cedar tongue and groove that I had pulled out of a closet of our house. I traced out the shape of the car and cut the pieces out on the bandsaw. After some light sanding, I glued them in place. I could have clamped them up and waited for the glue to dry, but I wanted to keep the project moving, so I tacked them in place with my pin nailer. I'm using some pre-made wheels for this project, so I used a few of them to trace out locations on the car and then used a Forstner bit to create wheel wells. And here's where I got a little ahead of myself and broke one of the cedar cutouts but a little glue and some pin nails and we're back in action. Keep in mind that when you're using cedar for smaller projects, it is a really soft wood and it also cracks really easily when it dries out. This cedar came out of our 1926 house, so it's definitely got some age on it and it is dried out and cracks really easily. After that, I used a quarter inch Forstner bit to start the holes for the dowels that will act as the axles, and used a regular bit to finish them off. The quarter inch dowel was pretty snug, so I used a file in the holes until the dowel could spin freely. Mm -hmm. 
Then it was back for more sanding. I also used a Dremel to bevel the hard to reach areas like the wheel wells. Now originally I wasn't planning on adding the cedar on the sides of this car so when I sanded the 2x4 form I put little bevels on the edges so then when I actually added the cedar on the sides it left little visible seams between the cedar and the 2x4 form. Now I could just wood putty this but wood putty doesn't take finishes very well and I really wanted to keep this car natural wood. But in the end, the seam was bothering me too bad, so I decided to go ahead and wood putty it anyway. After even more sanding, I used some mineral spirits to wipe the toy down. Mineral spirits is not only a great way to clean your projects, but it can give you an idea of what it will look like with a clear finish. I decided that the beautiful look of the natural cedar trumped the spots where the putty was visible, so I went ahead and sprayed it with a few coats of satin polyurethane. While assembling, I added some wax to each dowel to help them spin freely. Originally, I planned to stain the wheels dark, but I liked the look of the light wood against the darker cedar, so I left them natural. our wooden toy car is finished. It's really hard to believe that this was just a few cutoffs from the burn pile along with some old tongue and groove that I had laying around. It really came out nice and it was a really quick project, something that you can do on a weekend or over an evening. One of the reasons I like this project is you can take it as far as you want to. You can leave it plain like I did or you can cut out headlights and bumpers or you can use your scroll saw to cut out the windows. You can add details and paint it. You can wood burn details on it. Whatever you want to do, you can take it as far as you want and make it as fancy as you want. I really like this plain wood one. I mean, after all, it was just cutoffs and things, so there's not much to it, but it turned out really nice. I'm really glad that I decided to stick with natural wood for this because even though you can still see this putty in a few spots, this cedar is just amazing. You can see all the wood grain and the knots and it just makes it look really, really nice. As you can see, it rolls really smooth. I think the wax really helped it out. It has a really nice smooth action to it. Oh, good catch. Hey, this is really Thanks. nice. You did a good job. Oh, you want to close this out? Sure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have tons of projects just like this over on our channel. So make sure to head over there, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.